Hey, it's Norm from Tested, and for today's show and tell, I have a new camera I wanna share with you. It's kind of a gimmicky camera, but I think it's a new style of camera that we'll see a lot of. We actually saw a bunch of these at CES this year. It's a 360 degree camera. This one's made by Ryko. It's called the Theta, and they released one last year. This is an updated version, the model M15, and I've been, I brought it to CES to actually take a bunch of photos with. Uh, what it is, is you see a fisheye lens in the front of the camera here. If I flip it around, there's actually two fisheye lenses that shoot basically a full 180 degrees, and then with the software built in, it does automatic stitching, and it'll create a 360 panorama in one go. So while you have a smartphone app or it built into some smartphones the ability to take a panorama by moving the phone around, uh, sometimes you get some bad stitching or blurring with images because you're not capturing all of that at the same time. With this camera, this is actually using two sensors and two fisheye lenses to stitch in the camera all at once, and then some other cameras we've seen actually use three or more cameras. I think we'll see a lot of VR setups, for example, in the future using multiple cameras and then doing some real-time stitching. It's a it's small, pocketable, I like the form factor, it kind of looks like the Neuralizer Men in Black. You walk around, there's a button here, and you just press it and it takes a photo. The resolution isn't fantastic and there is some compression in the image quality. So these aren't gonna be photos you're gonna print because you wouldn't wanna print them anyway. They're, they're kind of stretched out. Uh, what they are good for are for viewing on smartphone or you can actually upload it to Ryko's website and then embed it on your own website. Now the new model, the M15, also does video and you can capture up to three minutes of 360 degree video. I think there's a, there's a lot of interesting potential here. I haven't really captured it, but um, I think you can, for example, put this above the moon roof uh, in your car um, and then shoot a video driving down a city, for example. And then as the video plays, you can in the web browser on your smartphone drag around and check out everything that's going around. Just like with the photos, the video image quality is a little compressed. The resolution, they're taking two basically two 1080p images, spherical images, and then stretching it around. So the resolution, the effective resolution if you were to take a screen grab, not very good. I wouldn't want to publish it in YouTube, for example, a linear take of the video. Uh, but it's a neat idea. There is a tripod mount in the bottom and the, the memory is built in, four gigabytes built in. It'll take over a thousand photos and about 40 minutes of video. Um, and then there's also Wi-Fi because you can connect it to a phone. There's a remote shutter on the phone you can use to take a photo. And there's some level of configuration for the camera. You can, for example, set into a shutter priority mode if you know you're gonna be taking photos of fast moving objects to take it at over you know, one five hundredth of a second or an ISO priority mode uh, if you want to make sure you have the highest image quality, for example, uh, a nice daytime shot or a night shot. And you have some level of exposure control. It's not really exposure compensation, but you can move a brightness meter up and down. I can, for example, I can take a photo remotely right now. It's holding here. There's a button here, or I can just press the button. There it goes. Took a photo. The stitching happens in real time. It'll copy the photo over, and then in just a few seconds, you can see both the camera there and me here. It's a little expensive, $300, not something I think for most people to buy, but I think for filmmakers who want to experiment with 360 degree video, because I think that's the thing that's definitely gonna come with, uh, with VR goggles coming out this year or next year, uh, this is an easy way to get into that uh, without having to build a multi-camera setup. And here's our panorama right here. So I can pan around and you can see there's me. You actually cannot see the device itself and then you can pan around and see there's the camera right there. So that's the Ryko 360 Theta. I'll share some of my images and some videos that I've taken with this. Uh, that's it for this week's show and tell. Next week we'll have another cool device to show off. Until then, I'm Norm from Tested, and we'll see you next time.